layer 2 and layer 3 switches. This is me and I am working as a network administrator for a multinational company called iRush Academy. I want to set up a new network infrastructure for iRush Academy. I contacted a dealer for my requirement and they asked me a question. Which network switch you are looking for? A layer 2 or layer 3? What is this layer 2 and layer 3 switches? Let's find out. Welcome to CCNA 200-301 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solution Chapter Number 7 Layer 2 and Layer 3 Switches Welcome to iRush Academy An unlimited learning platform Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos In this chapter We will learn about Layer 2 and Layer 3 Switch Functionality Differences between layer 2 and layer 3 switches Stackable and stackwise switches Some common models of layer 2 and layer 3 switches What is layer 2 switches and layer 3 switches? Based on the functionality, network switches are available in two types First one is layer 2 switches and the second one is layer 3 switches the symbol of layer 2 and layer 3 switches are shown in the picture. Now let's discuss about the difference between layer 2 switches and layer 3 switches. The point number 1. Layer 2 switches are working at the data link layer of the OSI model. But layer 3 switches are working at the network layer of the OSI model. What is an OSI model? The OSA model is a conceptual framework used to describe the function of a networking system. The OSA model contains seven layers. Each layer has its own function and protocols. Layer 2 switches are working at the data link layer of OSA model and layer 3 switches are working at network layer of OSA model. Point number 2. Layer 2 switches are working based on the MAC address only in layer 2 function but layer 3 switches are working based on the MAC address and IP address that means they are working in layer 2 and layer 3 function the layer 2 and layer 3 switches differ mainly in the routing function a layer 2 switch work with MAC addresses only and it does not care about IP address or any item of higher layers of OSI model in layer 3 switches it can do all the job of a layer 2 switch and additional static routing and dynamic routing as well. The layer 2 switches are working at the data link layer of the OSA model. So they are mainly working based on the MAC address of the devices. The layer 3 switches are working at the network layer of the OSA model. So they are working based on the IP address of the devices. Point number 3. Layer 2 switches doesn't support routing but layer 3 switches support routing what is routing routing is the process of transferring the data from one network to a different network in the screen we can see a layer 2 switch diagram and a layer 3 switch diagram layer 2 switches doesn't support the routing function but the layer 3 switches support the routing function so consider the first image layer 2 switch in that image we can see four pieces are connected to one single layer 2 switch we can see it is marked as a network A and the IP address range is 192.168.1.0/24. So in layer 3 switch, we cannot have two different network in the single switch because the layer 2 switches has a single broadcast domain. It can do the data transfer in the same network only. Now let's see in layer 3 switch network. Here we can see four different PCs are connected to a single layer 3 switch. The PC1 and PC2 are in network A. Their IP range is 192.168.1.0/24. On the other side, PC3 and PC4 are in network B. Their IP address is 192.168.2.0/24. Layer 3 switches support multi-broadcast domain. That means we can have multiple different network 
in the layer 3 interfaces. In layer 2 switches, the PC1, PC2, PC3 and PC4 are in the same network. We cannot make PC1 and PC2 in one network and PC3, PC4 on it another network because layer 2 switches doesn't support multiple network in it. All of the interface of the layer 3 is a part of a single broadcast domain. Now in layer 3 switch network we can see the PC1 and PC2 are in network A and PC3 and PC4 are in network B. Now PC1 and PC2 are a part of a single broadcast domain. On the other hand PC3 and PC4 are a part of a different broadcast domain because layer 3 switches support multi broadcast domain. The network devices from one network for example from network A can send the packet to the another device which is lying in the network B. That means layer 3 switches do routing from one network to another network. Point number 4 layer 2 switches are more cost effective but layer 3 switches are more expensive than layer 2 switches we know the layer 2 switches are working at the data link layer of the OSA model layer 2 switches are working based on the mac address of the devices and they doesn't support the routing we all know that switch is a hardware based device the switching function is controlled by the hardware so when the manufacturer want to include the routing functionality in a network switch they need additional hardware resources, the electronic chips, the transistor, integrated circuits, etc., which is costly. So when we consider the cost of the layer 2 and layer 3 switches, the layer 2 switches are cost effective and layer 3 switches are highly expensive than the layer 2 switches. Point number 5. Layer 2 switches provide high speed data transfer within the network segments but layer 3 switches provide high speed data transfer between different network segment. The switches are hardware based devices. They can transfer the data in wire speed. The layer 2 switches have a single broadcast domain and they can support only a single network. So layer 2 switches can do the data transfer in wire speed inside that single network. On the other case layer 3 switches support multi broadcast domain. They can have multiple network segment inside it. So in layer 3 switches data transfer happening between multiple network in wire speed. Point number 6. Layer 2 switches by default do not have a built in security feature and quality of service. But layer 3 switches by default have built in security features such as access control list and quality of service. Now let's talk about the stackable switches. What is the stackable switches? The stack. Have you heard the word stack? The word stack is confusing so many people in a different way. So let's discuss what is the stackable switches. Stack means single unit independent switch and typically one unit in size. In this screen we can see multiple switches are placed in a group. So a stack means an independent, a single unit and typically one unit in size. So this is called stack. In this picture we can say the switch number one it is called a stack. So this is a stack because it is a single unit and it is an independent unit. Independent unit switch means we can we can manage this switch as an independent switch. So this is what it's called stack. We can see its unit is one unit. Now the second switch, switch two, that is also another stack. Switch three is another stack. Switch four is another stack. So all of these switches are single unit independent switches and each switches are a stack. A stackable switch means a single switch that manage individually. Yes, all of these switches are managed individually as a single unit. Now let's talk about the stackway switches. The stackway switches allow us to connect multiple switches together and manage those as a single unit switch. 
Stackway switches has a specific port called start port and those can be connected with stack cables. Now as shown in the picture we can see four individual network switches are connected as a stackways. So this is switch number one and switch number two, switch number three and switch number four. This four network switches has a specific port called stack port and this is that stack port in all the network switches. So this is that stack port interface that we can attach directly into a network switch. And this is the stack waste cable. So with the stack waste cable, so by using the stack cable, we can connect multiple switches together and manage those. So using the stack cable, we can connect multiple switches together and manage it as a single unit of switch. Now let's discuss about some common Cisco Catalyst switch models. Cisco Catalyst 2960 and Cisco Catalyst 2975. Both are layer to stack. And we have Cisco Catalyst 3560 and 3750. Both are layer 3 stack and they support routing. Another model is layer 3 chassis switch. They also support routing. And some of the common models are Cisco Catalyst 4500 and 6500. Cisco chassis switches are very handy switches. They are large in the size and they have different different modules which are called blades so in this picture we can see the power supply two power supply and then we can see the blades this unit is called blades and they have the control unit this control unit is working as a brain of the chassis switches So it is allowed to replace the blades whenever it is required. For example, we can replace this unit and install another unit. Same way we can replace the control unit as well. For example, if you remove the control unit from one switch and we install in another switch, then that switch will have all the configuration that is stored in that control unit. These chaser switches are making lot of noises because they have a big fan. So in this chapter, we have learned about layer 2 and layer 3 switch functionality differences between layer 2 and layer 3 switches stackable and stackway switches and some common models of switches thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos